Very well, welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time, we uh, did some side quests in Valak Mountain, watched some heart-to-hearts, unlocked Dumban's fourth skill tree. This time, we're taking on a chain of quests that is here in Frontier Village. Actually, I have a bunch of quests to do in here in Frontier Village now that I think about it, but we'll see. See what we can do. Depends how fast we do this chain of quests, we might actually do more. We turn to night. At the archaeology center, we can find Lupa. If you've done uh, her side quest, kind Lupa's grampy pawn, she might have other quests for you. Some real there, there's some really ancient ruins in Magna. I want to do some research there, but the door will not open. That doesn't sound good. That big big problem. I was hoping you would say that. Have friends ever been to ruins? Then what? I want to do some surveying. Riggy did see really old owls out there. What Lupa going to do in old haunted house? Frightened goes to death? <laughs> Didn't I just say I want to do a survey there? No point I've yet to learn about those ruins and... Stop! Lupa talk too much. Time to decide. I need three ancient documents in order to open door. Oh, likely somewhere in Magna Forest. Do your best to find them, friends. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we already have those documents, and I'll tell you where you can actually find them. So first document is over here. You can easily travel to Valak Pass and go there. Then another one is between Bridge 3 and Bridge 2 in this little island over here. I guess it's not really an island, but it's a part that you can just walk into. And the other one is actually nearby. It's over here. can't really zoom in, unfortunately, but over here, near the river on the, le on the right side, there's a patch of land that you can actually stand on, and that's where the third document is. Friends got the ancient documents? Show me. Hmm, the key to deciphering this line on another document. I should be able to read this. I can decipher it right away. Come back to me shortly. And that's mix Mystery of Machina Ruins 1 done. I know how to open the door of the Magna Ruins. Ancient documents say, okay. Ancient documents say that we have to recite prayer in front of, book, in front of uh, ruins. Wow, Lupa, able to read such tattered book. Well done. Ricky not able to read any of those Carly Squiggles. This is not Carly Squiggles. This is important ancient writing. Friends not moved by the fact that writing existed in ancient times? Do friends want to try to delve deeper into mystery of the ruins? We sure do. I knew we would all get excited at the mention of a mystery. Do friends know the location of the ruins in Magna? There are a tab tab tablet at the entrance of the ruins. Recite the prayer there. When the door opens, go inside and look around for me. Okay, we're gonna do just that. Warp to Magna Forest, all the way to... King Agnes' tomb, which we already found. If you remember when we found this, we there was a locked door, but now we can open it. However, I will go into my Semcraft thing menu to see if I have something on my here. I do have one earth cloak? I can split this. Let's see, that's the only one I oh the only one I have. Okay, you know what? Split this with this. Give me Sharla. Uh, give me Riki. Riki want to play? Okay, get all of that. I want to continue. Dark cloak thirty plus that only fifty. Well. Should get a level three time anyway. Maybe for lucky level four. But well, we have to be very lucky. There we go, level four. We have fifty only. Forty-two percent. Okay, finish. You'll see why I'm doing this. And actually, I actually never tried to do this. We'll see how it goes. Lead defense, earth cloak, five. Four, let's see, do we have any Urk cloak that we might have gotten from quests? 
Oh, that's it. That's the only one I have. Hopefully that's gonna be enough. So inside here, we find there are a lot of dead Ignas. Yeah, the lizard man. And more over here. And Antos, again. These Antos are just the most powerful being in the universe. I mean, first they kill the Tilkins, now they kill the Ignis. There's just no stopping them. Well, almost all of the Ignis, because that guy is still alive. The Brutal Graver. And that's a unique monster, but you know, if we are sneaky enough, I think... Yeah, you can only do this with some Earth Cloak Gems. You can actually sneak past this guy, and I think if you do it this very... Yeah, you can investigate this thing without even aggroing it. You should definitely go back and tell Lupa. Before this guy attacks us. We will attack it, no matter. Don't worry, we will bother this guy, but... Not now. Not now. Um, Frontier Village. I just wanted to show you that it was possible. I've never tried it before, but... I read about it, I read, oh, you can actually... You don't even have to defeat the guy, you just sneak past. Interesting. And now we're gonna report to Lupa. Unfortunately, she's a bit out of the way. But it's fine. So, friends found a huge coffin inside the ruins. Hmm, this indication that these ruins of the ancient Zions. Friends felt the breeze blow from underneath the coffin? So something may lie beyond the coffin. Right, I will have to come up with a way to find it out. Now we have evidence that ancient Zions lived in Machina. This is wonderful. Right, I come up with a way to solve the next mystery. You find warriors should have no problem moving the coffin. C coffin? With that thing in it? Lupa want us to move it? Wow, what is skeleton monster jump out of Ricky? Ah uh, yes, if friends find bones, then bring them here to me. It may help us understand the biology of the giants. B bones? Lupa want us to bring b bones? Wah, wah, wah! Nice comment, Ricky. Need some Agora sap in aquas and the soil. Friends can get these in Mechna and Area C. I will then blend them together. Okay, we already have those. Uh, the Equus Antlers oil can be found. Nerit C, just go to the uh, hovering rifts. There are the robots, the Handos robots. You get them from the Handos robots. Uh, the Algora sap can be found here in the sap cave. In this little pond, there's a huge brog that guards the entrance. Just kill it, go in there, grab the tree, things you find there. Now I have all the materials to make lubrificant oil. Must mix the Agora sap and aqua Andros oil fruitfully. That will give us a smooth lubrific lubrificant oil. If friends use this on the coffin, then it should move easily. I look forward to hearing what lies beyond the coffin. And with that, we automatically get Mystery Machina Forest 4. Which is just go there and open the coffin. Reap the rewards. We haven't done a full map of this place quite yet because we were missing the bridge 4. Which I haven't gathered the material to repair off, off screen, so. Yeah. That's all to it, and eventually I'll, I'll do it. I still have my Earth Cloak Gem. I want to see if I can actually sneak past the guy and open the coffin without him even noticing. He's like sitting on the coffin. If I can open it with him sitting on, it'll be hilarious, but we'll see. So sneak past from the left. Stick to the wall. Okay. Are right, you just now sitting uh, in midair? Good. There's only a treasure chest in the center of a small room. Let's go and tell Lupa. 
Meanwhile, I'm gonna open this. And we get Battle Soul and Eat the Records. Suck those out. Those are art books. Battle Soul, we already know what that is, right? It's Shulk's art. We already have Aura Burst as well. I guess. Battle Soul. And finally, Ether Records. That allows anyone who studies it to learn the Ether Monado art. This is an optional Monado art. There are two optional Monado art in the game, and this is probably the least useful of them. It's not bad, but it's very situational. I don't really use it that much. So now, we got our rewards, but without fighting the boss. So I guess we'll have to fight the boss. It's only fitting that we do it. There we go. So I guess we can use the... The reward that we got on this guy. This is Ether, removes all enemy buffs and inflicts bleed, and it's Ether type, type damage. I like to drop some aggro if you don't mind, because I really need to get some party gaze over there. There we go. But I will not use Ether on this fight. Oh, I should have done it myself. Never mind, I can still, I can still dodge. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Oh, I'm heart sealed? Really? I can't do anything because I'm heart sealed. Yeah. That's not what I'm scared of. Does this guy has a move that's pretty scary? And it's not this, although it does pierce, but it's not what I'm scared of. Not oh, smash. Okay. Can we do it? Might as well wait until he's actually doing that scary move. Ricky, can you use Behave and remove Graze? That would be great. There we go. A bit too late, but I guess. He didn't even hit. Wow. It does have a pretty scary move that he hasn't done, the Talent Art. It's everyone. It's like, it's everyone. Inflicts Topple, and then after that, he follows up with an Insta Death move. Which obviously because your topple can't miss. Usually uh, heal off the topple before he gets that off, but eh. <laughs> it's very scary. Um, Frontier Village. Up we go to Ricky's house again. And tell Lupa. We have time for other two quests. This chain of quests is actually done. The reward was Monado Ether then again. The, again, removes all buffs and I guess it's okay because really birds, I think birds is superior because usually when enemies have s some buffs that are some, like some conditions that are scary, are, there are more scary auras than scary buffs. So friends found a small room under the coffin and a single treasure chest inside. May have been a custom of designers to build the secret room. These very intriguing results. I will let friends have the contents of the treasure chest. Yeah, whatever. We, we just got we just got it. No big deal. I mean, we knew we knew you would have given us the contents, so we just took it. Please take this piece of giant treasure too. It's an old family heirloom. I finished studying it. Friends might find a use for it. I told Grandpa and I would solve the riddle of King Agnes' tomb. Now I fulfilled that promise. So with that, we don't just get the Barrier Nasher, which I don't think is pretty that good, but I don't know. And we get the Heart of the Giants. We already have one of those Giants items. You guys done? Okay. We already have one of those Giants items, if you remember. Way back when in Satoru Marsh, we did another quest for Nopons who were trapped in, a, in some ruins. And there we got the... I'm not sure. I think with the Darting of the Giants. I don't know. There are three Giants items anyway. And this is the second one we got. The third one, unfortunately, is very hard to get because it requires to you to kill a level 90 monster, and that's like an end game stuff. But we'll do it. We'll do it somehow. And this is Rasha over here. Uh, what should I do? I wish there was another grown-up woman I could talk to you, go to, to talk to about this. Well, I know just the person. Do you mind if I talk to you about something? 
Of course, if you think I can help. Once I used to travel the world as an open merchant. My sister Pon and I ran our own little outfit. It was so enjoyable. Then one night we were attacked as we set up a camp by Aerith Sea. I was badly injured. My sister Pon lost her life. How awful, I'm so sorry to hear that. My sister Pon was Terry's Mama Pon. Since then I have been taking care of Terry. But she blames me for her Mama Pon's death. Time is supposed to be a great healer. But maybe Terry doesn't want to accept what happened that day. Even though she knows it was just an accident. I know better than anyone that it's hard to accept these things. Perhaps you're right. But still, I wish it had been me who died that day. And not my sister Pon. You can think like that, Rasha. But maybe... Yes, here's an idea. Tell me, do you know what kind of monster attacked you? It was near the ether crystal deposit there at sea. It's probably still there even now. Maybe we could get rid of it. I know that won't change anything between you and Terry. But you and Terry need to find some way of getting over this. Their stubbornness has to stop sometimes. If you could beat that monster, it would be a great help. Take care. You can count on us, we'll get it done. In order to accept this quest, you need to have four stars with Central Bionis, which is pretty high. But if you can get Mystery of Machina Ruins, you can probably do this immediately after, because Mystery of Machina Ruins give you a lot, gives you a lot of um, affinity with the area. So you have to go from here. You also need to have done um, the quest for Cherry about her being chosen as a as the new well either she or the other no one gets chosen as the new boss of the storehouse also a quest for Ra from Russia that tells you to defeat some Machina and Lucas when you've done those and you have four stars of affinity you can unlock this quest which you guessed it it's probably going to lead to a fourth skill tree So now, all we have to do is traverse this area once again and go back there. The enemy we have to kill is unfortunately super easy given they were level 50. But, eh, it's okay. We do what we have to do. Now we're in Rick 6. Now we go over to well, the only other uh, transportation. Now these are the Andos that you can get the fluid from for the lubrificant oil but yeah that's how you get it you can just kill those handles over and over I don't know do I, do I want this uh, I guess I'll, I'll mine I'm here I might as well And we found Interrupt and Tension Swing. Some electric plus as well. Nope. Let's see what we get. I am all over that. Well, I was not hoping for attention swing, but I guess you get what you get. Hopefully that electric plus will go. We'll go up to I'm level four, let's see. Yeah, go. Go, 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 yes! Alright! I've got into the rhythm. I have to I sound with my gems too. And do some inventory management that was about to die. Okay, guys. Let's give them help. Let's get this uh, as Ryan would say. 
I will give it my all, no matter the enemy. Shoot it, Charla. Wow, just eel mail you? Oh. Whatever. Sleep. Just gonna give them all my arts. Can you take out some item, Ricky? Thank you. I mean, he's taking a lot of DOT damage. Look at that. 1300 damage. Uh, am I getting this B from? Yes. Inspiring. I shall do my best too. Get up on very cool. Right, so we got the item that we needed. Let's go back to Russia. She already moved. Uh, go back to ten. You got rid of the monster. What saved me back then was my sister upon sacrifice. She drew away the monster's attention. That allowed me to escape despite my injuries. But Terry still feels I've abandoned my sister upon that day. Can I make one final request? It is about a piece of cloth that belonged to my sister upon. Can you give it to Terry for me? Sure, we'll do that. She's probably at the warehouse where we left her, in charge of all the work there. Very proud of her. That no one. Also, over here, there's this guy, P Puko. Uh, remember that guy, because it will be important for the next quest that we'll do. Anyway, we'll talk about that once we actually start doing it. This is for you. Piece of old cloth? What would they want with this? You don't recognize it? This pattern, I have seen it somewhere before. If from my beloved Mamapon's clothing. Where did friends get this? You avenged your mother's death. So my Antipon Russia still regrets what happened. Actually, I already knew that. I know it was not Antipon's fault. It was fault of monster. I will never forget beloved Mamapon. I will carry this piece of cloth with me always. Never forget. I will never forget those that were dear to me either. Thank you. From now on, I want to patch things up with my auntie pun. Let's go tell your auntie pun then. We delivered it to her. I see. How was she? She said she doesn't blame you. She knows it was the monster. From now on, she wants to patch things up with you. Me and Terry patch things up? I do hope I can be like a good mama pun to her. You're all she's got and she all you got, right? That's right. I've always followed in self-pity about my sister, sister pun's death. Now I want to put that energy into connecting with Terry. If you continue to believe in each other, then it'll turn out fine. I've always believed things would turn out okay. Maybe it was even relying on that idea a bit too much. Thank you so much, my friends. I'll do my best. And that unlocks Charlotte's Rel Reliance skill branch. Let's actually take a look at it very quickly. Reliance improves either defense, which is not bad. First ability, Memory of Garolt improves block rate. Only for Charlotte, we cannot pass this around, unfortunately, because this is a diamond shape. Increases chance of a counterattack, I mean, I guess. Not bad. Grass Eater at Eater up buff when an ally defeats an enemy. Eh. It's good on Charla, because she needs the Eater to heal. Strength up and physical defense up when an ally is incapacitated. Not really that nice, because we don't want to, you know, die. And this is okay. This is good. Greatly increases Eater by 75 points. Pretty good. Then we can pass this around to someone like Melio or Ricky to get even better damage. So it, it is pretty good, actually, I'm going to set it. I think. I don't know, do I just want to get this first and then build Reliance? I think I want to do that. What did I do on Dumb and actually switch it to Open Stance? Well, we need this. 
It's good. Okay, we've done that, but now we have something else we can do. Since we're here, might as well finish up everything. We go to the chief residence and up here. And switch to night. Because this quest is only available at night. Uh, we saw this a bit before, I think. Dabi Dabi. You're not Nopon, so I cannot understand my feelings. We need to leave me alone. Fine, we'll bring you the Nopon. And now we have an open. Would, would you speak with us? Ooh, I hate high places. But I must show courage and make the jump. Dabi Dabi? Dabi Dabi okay? Not okay, not okay at all. But still, I have to jump otherwise I can never get married. Dabi Dabi, nothing to worry about. Ricky just as afraid as Dabi Dabi. Ricky goes shaky at knees when thinking about jumping from here. Jumping business is very strange. So not just Dabi Dabi. I knew other Nopon think the same. What if I do not jump? That upon will disarm me. It's a sticky situation indeed. When Ricky jump, Ricky may jump along with Ricky. But it's also important to know when to give up. Nopon must not throw life away by getting squished at bottom. Coward that Ricky speak the truth. Ricky not coward, meh. Then I will call it quits. It's too dangerous. I will only end up causing more pain for myself and others. Go tell Ladidi that then Dabi Dabi is a worthless no pun. I pity her, having to marry useless Dabi Dabi. That is the best thing to do. Adidi, please forgive me. Dabi Dabi, look at yourself. A teeny weeny no pun like you could never jump properly. Silly Billy Dabi Dabi. Did you just see vision? So Dabi Dabi going to jump, but he say he no want to. Very foolish Dabi Dabi. Quick, Ricky must talk to Aditi before he do something silly. Look, Dabi Dabi is fine? Question mark? Okay, we're good for a second. I thought we were going to land on the little patch of land over there. Okay, it's fine. You don't need to worry. There's a lot of water down there. You'll be fine. Hiya, Didi. Friends went to see Dabi Dabi? Something wrong? Can I help? Dabi Dabi. I work hard to get a key, no Joe Crystal. Work so hard, my fur only tatters. But I too late. Dabi Dabi, gone. Forever. I will jump too. Jump to Dabi Dabi. Dabi Dabi, I will, I will be with you soon. Echidna Joe Gristle? I need to gather some Echidna Joe Gristle. If I do, Puka will sell me some enlarging seaweed. With the seaweed, Dabi Dabi can jump off diving board safely. But, it's impossible for me to gather Echidna Joe Gristle by myself. Good thing we have them. Uh, I'm not sure where you can get those. <laughs> Probably from Air Sea and some... Probably the, the big flying grey monsters. So now we're gonna get to Puko to get the... To get everything. Oh, I'm about over here. Hang on a sec. Alright, Polynos, Dedeba? I do not want to talk about that. I want, not to, I want to talk about future, not about past. Okay, fine. Can you trade? What do you have? Nothing that interesting. Alright, so, in order to unlock this quest, you need to have, like, three stars of affinity. With Central Bionis. Plus, you need to, uh, to do some side quests for some doctors. Maddie is one of the doctors of the Nopons that you need to do side quests for. And there's another one, Yuza, which is down below here. Uh, boop, boop, boop. You go from the Central Plaza, you go down here. And over here, there are Yuza and Nepa. And you do side quests for both of these dudes. And when all of these three Nopon stop giving you side quests, then you know. Then you have unlocked this one that's getting bigger. That we're doing right now. Come on, Puko. Come into existence, thank you. I smell a kid no Joe Gristle. How did friends manage to find it? It's selling enlarging seaweed here. 
If you eat it along with the Kino Dog Gristle, you get really large. Friends want some enlarging seaweed? Friends can have it for free because friends help Puko. Puko might find it hard to shift all this Echidna Dog Gristle anyway. Actually, Aditi said if she wanted some enlarging seaweed. Dabi Dabi is looking for some to eat as well. Here, I'll just give it all to friends. So now we can choose either Aditi or Dabi Dabi. I already know what I'm choosing, but just let you know. There's a bit different dialogue whether you choose Dabi Dabi or Aditi. I will go for Aditi. Also, whoever you choose is going to become bigger and is going to change what trades are available. So, before you do anything, trade with whoever you choose before giving the enlarging seaweed, see if there's anything interesting. In this case, there really isn't. So, I'm just gonna give it. You're just gonna keep the enlarging seaweed to Dabi Dabi to Aditi. But yeah, do that. So you don't miss out on anything. Friends go enlarging seaweed and a keto joke gristle. Oh ho ho ho, it smells so good. It just tastes a little bit. Oh ho 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 ho! What happened? I suddenly massive no pawn. Of course, no big me should be able to catch Dabi Dabi. Dabi Dabi, have courage and jump to Aditi. I'm going to jump now. Catch me properly, Yadidi. Splat. Dabi Dabi safe because Yadidi caught him. Phew! Now that upon the lapa, leave Dabi Dabi alone. Now I massive no pawn. But my bigness let me save my Dabi Dabi, so I'm very happy. We will stay in love forever. Let's see what Yadidi has. Now that she's grown up. She had like... Ooh. Okay. Can I get this? Uh, trade an epic carnival for it. Thank you. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. What? Overtrade? I don't need this thing. Well, thank you anyway, though. That's strength down four. Let me actually take a look at that. Ryan, you have strength up three, right? Strength down three. Yeah, how about a four? Sixteen percent? I guess it's better than what you had. Aditi has grown really big. But now we can be together. Thank you, friends. Your kindness moves me. Dabi Dabi's jump was incredible. Aditi was amazing too. Thank you for everything, Ricky. I thought it best to try and jump on my own. But now I realize that I need my friend's help. Ricky realized that too when he jumped. No matter what you do, working together is the best thing. Dabi Dabi learned a good lesson. Going in alone is dangerous. Being scared the cat is so pitiable. You end up having to get others to do everything for you. Dabi Dabi must promise to keep that secret between him and Ricky. No one must know about Ricky being scared the cat, even though Melia and Charla are listening. Okay. Anyway, now I can be with Aditi. Thank you, friends. And we get Ricky's cover the skill branch. Let's take a look at it and end the episode because it's been half an hour already. Cover this. Prioritizing this trait will improve block rate. It's okay. And this is a weird skill tree because it increases strength during the night. Agility when it spears it off. I, I guess it's fine. It reduces cooldown during the night. We have reduces cooldown during the day and cooldown during the night. It it does reduces it reduces more because this is a 15%. This is a 10%. So. Pretty nice. Bullseye improves the accuracy of back attacks. That's a flat 50% more accuracy on back attacks. That's a lot. And more experience in battles during the night. So this is a night based skill tree. It's not bad. But we're gonna keep Vivacity for now because I need this thing. And with that I think we're done in Frontier Villains. And next time we'll go back to Colony 9 and Colony 6 and do some good stuff over there. See you guys next time.